Today we are going to the city of San Marcos, it's a local city, and they've asked us to set up their podcast room. They want to do a really cool like news, like local news type podcast. And I think it's really great because if you go on Facebook or Instagram right now, uh, even Facebook groups, so much stuff is just so negative and like it's not really like news. It's just a bunch of people like complaining and talking about the, the bad stuff that's happening in the community. And so um, I think it's really cool that the city wants to do this and they've reached out to us. Um, we actually set up the podcast room at Union Cowork here in, in San Marcos as well. And so they took a look at that and they want us to set up their podcast room. So we have all the gear in the back and we're going to go. We, we purchased it. We ordered everything for them. And now we're going to go set it up and get them live. So we'll see how it goes. Jordan is editing videos. He's um, our, our videographer. Andrew is buying the camera today, so I'm pumped about that. And he's going to be helping me set everything up here. So it will be a good day. You know, fun fact, Cal State San Marcos, which is right down the road here, was founded the year I was born. Fun fact. Gotta thank the guys over at Mast for these cool little cloth masks. I have to get you one, Andrew. But um, yeah, it's a cool little, cool little mask company. If you have to wear the masks. Might as well be in style. Might as well. Yeah, well, dude, you're rocking the bandana. Straight, I know. Straight bank robber vibes over. <laughs> One of the best things I think about podcasting, and I talked about this in the, the mic review that I just did, but podcasting is one of those things that even though there's a lot of podcasts coming out, it can serve micro communities. Every podcast doesn't have to have millions of downloads. You know, like we all don't have to be the Joe Rogan show. <laughs> Sometimes it can serve little micro communities and micro efforts. And I think, I think that is a really cool way to not only brand yourself as an expert, but you know, also, communicate with your tribe, your, your community, your group, wherever that is. These are really cool too. So these are reusable uh, microphone, uh, basically kind of like windscreens, but like you're just putting it on top and it's, you know, it's disposable. So you can take it off each time. Oh, Especially nice. with COVID and everything, yeah. you kind of want to maybe be a little bit more germ conscious. And then this is gonna be really fun. They have an on-air sign. It's gonna be mounted to the top of the door. So this is the room completely empty right now. We're gonna be setting it up and it already has sound paneling on two of the walls. So it's a smaller room. It was originally used for a projector, which is actually right above your head. Where is it? Right oh. there. So. Dang, that thing looks ancient. <laughs> Yeah, so this is gonna go here, and we're gonna have probably seat in the corner here, seat in the corner over here. This guy is getting taken out by uh, some contractors later on, but we're still gonna do the setup today. But the Roadcaster Pro is going right there. We want everything a little off the wall and far enough away so that everyone has enough room. There's nothing worse than being like knee to knee with someone while you're asking them intimate questions about their business. So this should work and give us enough door clearance. It'll be a little tight, but we'll work with it. Okay, so I set them up with some of my favorite mics from Rode. These are $100 
Rode pod mics. Love these guys. I think they're probably the best XLR mic bang for the buck. Um, the construction is really solid and heavy duty. Built in, um, built in pop filter. And there she is. Really, really pretty mic. Super heavy too. There is, I believe there's a little shock mount, basic, basic shock mount setup also inside of these. So really reduces a lot of that ambient noise that somehow sometimes happens when you, you know, maybe hit a cord against the, the, uh, the stand or whatever else you have it on. So pot filters, shock mounts, all those are really important. We'll definitely upgrade the quality. All right. Love this thing. Seriously, for any of you folks out there who like gear as much as I do, this feels just like Christmas. Andrew's on the other side, just pissed that he can't be unwrapping <laughs> all this. It's a sweet multi-track um, recorder platform. You can connect four different XLR mics into it. And there she is. Nice. Oh yeah, there's nothing like new gear. The super nice thing about this deck is that not only you can connect the four mics, but you can also connect up a phone through either Bluetooth or an actual cord connection for calling in. So technically you could get really up to five people on a podcast for, from this unit and then you can call someone in remotely. So that's a really cool feature. The other nice thing I like that Rode does is they have these giant decks that basically go over everything. Oh, this is upside down. <laughs> but just goes over everything. This one's a whole key feature card. But these are just like really, really big. Like cheat sheets? Cheat sheets, front panel, back panel, explaining how this whole thing works. And so, not bad. Not bad at all. Money, I think at the time that we're talking, this unit's about 800 bucks. Um, but you can find it on deals sometimes. Sometimes they'll run like, you know, 15% off or give you a couple hundred dollars off. So always good to look for those. All right, so one of the nice things about this uh, recording preamp basically is that it records directly onto the little micro SD cards. And so you can fit them in on this back piece. You can take a look here. Once we get everything plugged in, power cords right there, but you're gonna plug in that micro SD right there. So that'll just go in right there. The wonderful thing about that is you can literally just pull it out and then take it with you on the road or if you need to give it to a, a, a audio engineer or something like that. Once you plug it in though, it will give you an option to format the SD card. So you're just gonna say yes. Um, this whole road deck is super, super user friendly. So there's all sorts of on-screen um, prompts and different things to kind of help you help guide you through the process. The other fun thing is all of these pads are a customizable. Rode actually gives you these little cheat sheets that you can slip over the top of these and write in what each of them are. So you have eight customizable jingles if you want to play something, you know, like uh, if someone's going to do a joke or something and you want a little or like, um, you know, on Brad Lee's show, dropping bombs, you know, he has like this like fire exploding noise. Uh, but all those things are possible with this deck. So it's really fun and it's, uh, it adds, I think, a layer of dynamicness uh, to a podcast recording, just straight in the recording. So let's get the rest of the setup right now. We're plugging these guys in and just connecting them to the back. One of the things that I found out when setting this up before is you have to make sure that not only is the uh, mute button off, but you also have your audio turned up and you're plugged into the right, the right uh, stations here in the back. So you can see there are four different stations where you plug in these microphones. Uh, this XLR port that's right in the back there 
is going to connect on the other side to one of these four ports. We're going to use one and two. Again, one of the things that I learned, if you're not plugged into one and two on this other side, you're going to be in trouble and you need to make sure that everything is off mute and turned up to the appropriate volume. So we're going to get everything set up here and we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. All right. So what I'm going to do next is probably get them set up with an account on anchor, which is going to use, uh, is going to be used to get the podcast out to all the different platforms. So I'm going to get them set up for that right now. And I think they're going to use the podcast also for a little bit of like intranet announcements. They're going to put like announcements and different, different things um, to diversify a little bit. So it's not just another email that's going out. So we are getting them set up and probably take me another 30, 45 minutes or so to get everything going. But then we're going to show Tess and see what she thinks. So Anchor actually allows you to record directly on their platform, but I don't like using it like that. I like to just use them as a distribution platform. Um, you can also monetize through there, but I don't think they're going to be doing that necessarily. It's just going to be used to um, push out information and push out content from the actual city itself. I think this is such a cool idea though from the actual city to be producing a podcast like this because and I think there's a lot of room for other cities to do this as well just because um, there's not a lot of local information anymore like we're always on our phones on Instagram on Facebook certainly Facebook groups the next door app uh, things like that are ways that people hear what's going on in their community but I think podcast especially something that the city puts on to kind of talk about local news economic development road closures, just random important stuff that makes a difference to people who live in this specific city. I think it's a really good idea um, and I love that they're doing this. So really excited about supporting that. All right, we're all plugged in. So it's time to do an audio test. See you guys later.